How to lower blood pressure quickly. If your blood pressure is abnormally high, you will need to lower it as quickly as possible. There are ways to do this using nothing but diet and lifestyle, but if you are already facing hypertension, your best bet might be to get your doctor to prescribe a medication. Here's what you need to know about the options available to you. Lowering blood pressure with diet. Maintain a balanced diet. A diet composed of whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and dairy can lower your blood pressure by as much as 14 millimeters of mercury, especially when that diet also contains minimal amounts of saturated fats and cholesterol. Dietary changes are usually the first step in dropping your blood pressure. The effects may be gradual if you do nothing more than balance your diet, but if you focus on consuming foods known to drop blood pressure and accompany your diet changes with activity and lifestyle changes, your blood pressure will drop much faster. After you drop your blood pressure to the level it needs to be at, you can indulge in the occasional candy bar or cookie, but you should also strive to follow a diet like this most of the time to prevent your blood pressure from spiking up again. Dietary changes are usually the first step in dropping your blood pressure. The effects may be gradual if you do nothing more than balance your diet, but if you focus on consuming foods known to drop blood pressure and accompany your diet changes with activity and lifestyle changes, your blood pressure will drop much faster. After you drop your blood pressure to the level it needs to be at, you can indulge in the occasional candy bar or cookie, but you should also strive to follow a diet like this most of the time to prevent your blood pressure from spiking up again. Skip the salt. Sodium Na is the natural foe of high blood pressure. A small drop in your sodium intake can often lower your blood pressure by 2 to 8 millimeters of mercury. Limit your sodium intake to 2,300 milligrams a day or less. If you are older than 51 years of age or if you have underlying conditions causing an increased blood pressure, stick to 1,500 milligrams of sodium a day at maximum. You should also check food labels on processed foods, which can contain massive amounts of salt. If you need to add flavor to your food, you can do so safely with many herbs and spices. Some herbs and spices, in particular, can actually help you decrease your blood pressure. Cayenne pepper expands blood vessels and improves blood flow. Turmeric decreases inflammation in the body overall, thereby improving cardiovascular function and causing a drop in blood pressure. Garlic lowers both cholesterol and blood pressure. Cayenne pepper expands blood vessels and improves blood flow. Turmeric decreases inflammation in the body overall, thereby improving cardiovascular function and causing a drop in blood pressure. Garlic lowers both cholesterol and blood pressure. Limit or eliminate your intake of alcohol. In small amounts, alcohol can actually cause your blood pressure to drop. However, the positive effects of alcohol can disappear after two drinks. In higher amounts, it can cause your blood pressure to increase. For men and women over the age of 65, drink one glass of wine or a beverage with a similar alcoholic content per day. For adults under the age of 65, you might be able to drink up to two glasses a day. For tracking purposes, one drink or glass equals 12 ounces 355 milliliters of beer, 5 ounces 148 milliliters of wine, or 1.5 ounces 45 milliliters of 80 proof liquor. In light to moderate amounts, wine and other alcohol can lower your blood pressure by 2 to 4 millimeters of mercury. Note that this is only helpful if you already drink alcohol, however. The results are less pronounced and riskier if you do not drink regularly. Large volumes of alcohol can decrease the effectiveness of blood pressure medication. If you have trouble keeping your drinking within the recommended limits, it may be best for your heart for you to quit drinking. For men and women over the age of 65, drink one glass of wine or a beverage with a similar alcoholic content per day. For adults under the age of 65, you might be able to drink up to two glasses a day. For tracking purposes, one drink or glass equals 12 ounces 355 milliliters of beer, 5 ounces 148 milliliters of wine, or 1.5 ounces 45 milliliters of 80 proof liquor. In light to moderate amounts, wine and other alcohol can lower your blood pressure by 2 to 4 millimeters of mercury. Note that this is only helpful if you already drink alcohol, however. The results are less pronounced and riskier if you do not drink regularly. Large volumes of alcohol can decrease the effectiveness of blood pressure medication. If you have trouble keeping your drinking within the recommended limits, it may be best for your heart for you to quit drinking. Drink milk. Milk is packed with potassium and calcium, and both nutrients have been linked to low blood pressure. Dairy also contains vitamin D, which may also help. Ask your doctor if low-fat or non-fat milk is better than whole milk for you. Whole milk can lower blood pressure better than low-fat or non-fat milk, but there may also be risks. Whole milk contains palmitic acid, which, according to some studies, can block internal signals responsible for relaxing blood vessels. 
As a result, your blood vessels stay constricted and your blood pressure remains high. Drink hibiscus tea. Herbal teas containing hibiscus can lower blood pressure quickly and dramatically if you drink three cups on a daily basis. Steep the tea for six minutes before enjoying it cold or hot. If you take no other measures other than drinking hibiscus tea three times a day, you can lower your systolic blood pressure by seven points within six weeks. Hibiscus tea contains anthocyanins and other antioxidants that strengthen your blood vessels, preventing them from narrowing and causing your blood pressure to spike. If you are taking a medication to lower cholesterol, such as simvastatin, talk to your doctor before you drink hibiscus tea. Steep the tea for 6 minutes before enjoying it cold or hot. If you take no other measures other than drinking hibiscus tea 3 times a day, you can lower your systolic blood pressure by 7 points within 6 weeks. Hibiscus tea contains anthocyanins and other antioxidants that strengthen your blood vessels, preventing them from narrowing and causing your blood pressure to spike. If you are taking a medication to lower cholesterol, such as simvastatin, talk to your doctor before you drink hibiscus tea. Pour a glass of cranberry juice. A glass of low-calorie cranberry juice can lower blood pressure as effectively as a glass of red wine. Cranberry juice contains antioxidants known as proanthocyanidins. These nutrients restrict the body's production of ET1, a compound known to constrict blood vessels and elevate blood pressure. Cranberry juice contains antioxidants known as proanthocyanidins. These nutrients restrict the body's production of ET1, a compound known to constrict blood vessels and elevate blood pressure. Eat fruits and vegetables that lower blood pressure. While fruits and vegetables are an important part of a balanced diet in general, some have a notably beneficial effect on lowering blood pressure. Eat kiwis. In a study done by the American Heart Association, scientists discovered that eating three kiwis a day for up to eight weeks could dramatically lower systolic blood pressure. Kiwis are rich in an antioxidant known as lutein. Enjoy a slice of watermelon. Watermelon contains fiber, lycopenes, vitamin A, and potassium, all of which have been linked to low blood pressure. It also contains an amino acid called L-citrulline, L-arginine, which early studies indicate may help lower blood pressure, as well. Include a wide variety of potassium-rich fruits and vegetables in your diet. Scientists generally agree that potassium is a vital addition to any diet designed to lower blood pressure. Good sources of potassium include peas, bananas, potatoes, tomatoes, orange juice, kidney beans, cantaloupe, honeydew melons, and raisins. Consider drinking coconut water. Coconut water is high in potassium, electrolytes, and other nutrients linked to lower blood pressure. A study published in the West Indian Medical Journal indicated that coconut water dropped systolic pressure in 71% of participants and dropped diastolic pressure 29% of participants. Consume more tofu and soy products. Soy products contain isoflavins, nutrients that may have a direct link to lower blood pressure. In a 2012 study, researchers discovered that diets rich in isoflavins were likely to result in blood pressure that was 5.5 points lower than blood pressure linked to low levels of isoflavins. Green tea and peanuts also contain a healthy amount of isoflavins. Indulge in a bit of dark chocolate. Chocolate in general is rich in flavanols. These nutrients encourage the blood vessels to dilate wider, thereby lowering blood pressure. While chocolate may help in all forms, dark chocolate and pure cacao contain higher concentrations than milk chocolate and may be the best choices. Studies suggest that consuming chocolate can reduce blood pressure in individuals with high blood pressure, but the results are less pronounced in individuals with normal or near-normal blood pressure. While chocolate may help in all forms, dark chocolate and pure cacao contain higher concentrations than milk chocolate and may be the best choices. Studies suggest that consuming chocolate can reduce blood pressure in individuals with high blood pressure, but the results are less pronounced in individuals with normal or near-normal blood pressure. Spice things up with chili peppers. Capsaicin, a spicy component of chili peppers, might encourage a drop in blood pressure when consumed. 